Hello again and welcome back to the Fanfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and welcome to the Absolute Beginners series of guitar tutorials. If you're actually joining part way through the series, I'd recommend you do these uh, in order. So I'll put a link in the information section down there to part one so you can start and go through these in order. Uh, see you back here once you've been through the earlier tutorials. It's vibrato is a useful technique for making your lead line sound a little bit more interesting. Um, but there's other things we can do. What I want to talk about now is sliding. So where we slide from one note to the other, from one fret to another on the same string. Think about what we've been doing so far with our scale bass playing. We've been working kind of in boxes, so A minor pentatonic. And then we came up with a scale box that looks like that. And we think, well, A minor pentatonic is that shape. The notes of the A minor pentatonic fall in that box. And that's true. But because of the way the guitar works, the same note actually appears in more than one place at different strings at different frets. Now let's think about the note that occurs at the fifth fret on the second string. We've got an E. But we've also got an E at the seventh fret on the third string. So we can think about moving beyond, so we've got this scale box. What about this note here? It's another way of playing that note there. So if I have a lead line, say something that goes like... I'm finishing on the fifth fret on the second string. But what I might want to do is play this. Hear what I'm doing there? Rather than just playing the seventh fret on the third string up to the fifth fret on the second string, I'm just sliding up to the E at the seventh fret. So yeah, something I haven't done uh, really in this in this series is talk about Fat Fish itself. Fatfish is a piece of software that I built oh God, many, many years ago. And it's kind of where the whole Fatfish Guitar Studio um, started from. Uh, I wrote this piece of software as a study aid to help me um, teaching people scales and then started distributing this, this software online. And you can download it from the Fatfish website here. Follow the download link and basically runs on any Windows PC and it gives you this virtual fretboard and you can see the notes of any scale so you can dial in the scale that you want to learn, what root note. It'll show you it like this. We've got the scale box here that we've been working with, but look at the next, say the next fret up on each of those strings. These are notes that you could slide to. You could actually slide to any of the notes that's highlighted here. Because these are notes in the scale. But just as a starting point. Look at the notes in scale, look at the next note available up the string. There's a potential target note. So instead of playing... You can play... Or you can slide, you can slide down, you can slide up. of options. Again, I'm not going to show you a whole load of licks that you can learn for yourself. I'm just going to give you the idea. Um, it is part of you learning the fingerboard and learning where the, the, the notes are on the neck. Use Fatfish as a study aid. Figure out where the notes are, say immediately above the, the scale box that you play, and immediately below the scale box that you play. You know, we've got the scale box here, but we've also got notes down here that you can potentially slide down to or start on and slide up. It's about moving beyond that box and exploring the neck. You know, if you watch any guitar player uh, playing a lead line, you'll recognize certain times they're playing around scale box that you'll recognize. You know, often if you watch a blues guitar player, you'll see them playing around that minor pentatonic, that minor blues scale that you recognize. But during the, the, the course of a solo, they'll probably be all over the neck. And that's because they've learned the fingerboard and they know where the other notes are and there's ways you can move between them 
some other ones I'll show you in some future videos. But just with you know, just with sliding, there's places you can go to and incorporate that into your, your lead lines as well, and it just gets you out of the, the basic pattern of note after note after note. The transitions become part of the solo as well, and it makes it more um, like smooth to listen to. There's a, a musical term called legato, which means like where you're moving smoothly between notes. So sliding is a useful way of being able to introduce like legato kind of feel to your playing because you're sliding and you're moving between notes in a in a in a gradual way rather than just going up or down from one note to another. Okay, so more there for you to practice. So we've got a couple of ways of making our lead lines a bit more interesting. We need vibrato, which is a nice way to finish off a note. And ways of getting to notes, we can think about sliding up or sliding down. A couple of other ways we can move between notes, things called hammer-ons and pull-offs. 